Well, good evening, children. Time for a great legendary story about a wonderful musician from Boston. Uh, a, a good friend of mine who passed away quite a few years ago and uh, revered and loved by many people, John Coffey. John Coffey was the bass trombone player with the Boston Symphony in the 40s and 50s. And um, when he retired from the symphony, he became, became a teacher and rented, had a space across the street from the conservatory on Huntington Avenue. He had a studio there and an instrument shop, and, and it's where he taught lessons. And uh, he was playing one afternoon with the Boston Symphony when Charles Munch was conducting. And Charles Munch and he had never been on very good terms. Um, John Coffey liked to play loud. He liked to play, and he was a very aggressive player, and quite often he would get what we brass players call the palm, this, play softer, play softer. And if in John's case, every time Munch would give him that, play softer, he'd play louder. So they were not best of friends, but uh, he was playing uh, that afternoon the Schubert Great C Major Symphony, the Great Ninth Symphony. And uh, the Stagliano started playing his beautiful French horn intro. Da, 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 de, da, 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 and so forth. And Coffey looked down at his trombone, and he had no mouthpiece on the trombone. <laughs> so you can't get up and walk off stage when the concert's are going on. So Coffey took the trombone and moved the slide and pretended like he was playing. He would play when the bass trombone part was supposed to be played. He'd move the slide and played the right positions, uh, but didn't play a single note. And um, he finished the concert and uh, got up and went backstage and started to put his trombone away. And Munch came up to him and said, uh, Ah, Monsieur Coffey, that is the most beautiful I have ever heard you play. <laughs> so <laughs> many years later, I saw John Coffey uh, literally when he was dying. He was on his deathbed uh, at um, the, the hospital bed in, in Hyannis, the hospital in Hyannis. He was dying of cancer. And I literally saw him weeks before he passed away. And I retold, retold this story about him, and this story which is, you know, had been going around Boston for years. And I said, uh, is this a true story? And, and do you know? And, and Coffey laughed uproariously and said, kid, to this day, I don't know if he really knew or not. If he did know, then he was a much wittier man than I thought he was. And if he did not know, maybe he was the kind of conductor I thought he was as well. 